the Atmabada gets deeper and deeper into the layers of our personality. It is like mining gold and diamond. At the surface the earth looks very different at different regions. The objects of knowledge that are perceived by the five senses of seeing, tasting, smelling, hearing and touching are different. They are called Vajnavastu or the things that are known. They seem to be divided, classified and different. They are subject to likes and dislikes. The known objects are gross like the physical world of matter. They are subtle like our emotions, feelings, likes and dislikes and even more subtle like the choices we make based on the core nature of our personality. A little deeper into the mining, the surface level differences are no more. The differences can be in our understanding, which is conditioned again by the three gunas, intelligent, disturbed, hyperactive, overreactive, doubting, angry, irritated, troubled, ambitious, arrogant or misapprehending all the time. The most common and ordinary conditioning of our knowledge of objects, people and situations is ignorance. Deep down in the earth, we do not know what all comes in the way of mining. There may be different insects, snakes, all kinds of different species of life, minerals, rocks, clay, water streams, caves and sometimes even volcanic fire. In the world of ignorance, there are constant surprises and disasters. We have seen the differences in the objects known. We have seen that there can be differences in the knowing. Now we will see how there are many differences in the knower. We are talking about the different types of miners. Some may be dull who are just on the job to earn a living. They take the risks because it gives their family a big source of income. There are others who go on mining restlessly, digging one place for some time, dropping that plan and going for another place. Ever active and disturbed they may get nowhere. There is the third type that has a greater interest because this type wants to strike gold and make the most of the precious stuff which is hidden beneath the earth. They are patient. Knowledge is their goal. However, the consciousness in the person like the gold in the mine is of one nature only. There are no differences in the consciousness and also the experience of bliss which is of the nature of consciousness, which shines by itself. All differences, in brief exist only outside in the world that is seen and not in consciousness, the seer. Let's block ads. Why?